Lindsay, one thing that's caught my attention this morning is that um, stocks, corporates with weak balance sheets have been outperforming those with strong balance sheets uh, basically since the end of May. Should, should the Fed be concerned about corporate leverage at this point? Well, remember, the Fed was asked specifically about the levels of corporate debt during the press conference, and uh, Fed officials have, have responded that, no, this is not an area of concern. They don't see this as a, quote, uh, unprecedented level of, of debt being taken on by businesses. So they've answered that question. Now, whether or not we buy that answer, that's another story. But I, I do think that at this point, the Fed's focus is not on individual balance sheets of American corporations, but instead focused on the broader picture of getting the economy back to a sustainable point where additional accommodation is not needed. They're looking right now at the numbers, and they're still seeing the economy as, quote, in a good place. But they do want to continue to use their tools to keep the U.S. economy in a good place. How far does the Fed go then to achieve that, Lindsay? Well, that's a good question. And unfortunately, we don't have much room for the Fed to provide additional stimulus. Remember, we're starting this easing cycle, if it is in fact the beginning of an easing cycle, at just the upper bound of 2.5%. Meaning if we give back 50 basis points just to right the yield curve, which at this point we're still seeing that partial inversion, that only leaves 200 basis points of outright stimulus to the economy if in fact we do see growth begin to falter materially. If you think back to 07, you think back to 2001, the Fed added twice as much stimulus to the economy at that point, meaning they lowered rates 400, 500 basis points. So this time around, the Fed is likely to get to that zero lower bound much quicker and then have to turn around and rely on non-traditional metrics to provide additional support to a faltering economy. And I would suspect that, that would come in the form of growing the balance sheet. At this point, the Fed is still right-sizing the balance sheet, but we expect that to stop around three and a half trillion if the economy starts to experience extreme weakness. And we've already seen the Fed lower rates near that zero lower bound, we could be talking about trillions of additional dollars in asset purchases added to the Fed's balance sheet.